All right, some 49ers news to get to here on a Friday. You're watching the 49ers Report by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Chase Sr. This is why you subscribe to the channel, because we keep you up to date with all things Niners. And when news breaks, we have you covered here on the channel. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below. I was in the middle of binging Yellowstone. Great show, by the way. Just finished season one when some 49ers news items broke. Kyle Shanahan losing yet another coach to his coaching staff, and John Lynch had some talks with Amazon about becoming a broadcasting analyst on Thursday Night Football. It was more so on the side of Amazon having interest, but John Lynch, general manager for San Francisco, going to stay with the Niners. So let's get into all of this right now. According to Tom Pelissero, NFL Network, University of Kentucky, hiring 49ers quarterbacks coach, Rich Scangarello as their new offensive coordinator. He's going to take that OC job to work under Mark Stoops. Widely respected quarterback developer is Rich Scangarello. Replaces Liam Cohen, who took the Rams offensive coordinator job after Kevin O'Connell left that post under Sean McVay to take the Minnesota Vikings head coaching job, taking over for Mike Zimmer. And... Liam Cohen ran a zone scheme that, of course, Rich Scangarello knows really well throughout his entire time in the NFL, especially under head coach Kyle Shanahan. So now it's yet another subtraction to Kyle Shanahan's coaching staff. And already over the last few weeks, there's been a lot of movement under head coach Kyle Shanahan, which is a good thing because that means he's really developing coaches and he's widely respected in that manner. It's a bad thing because there's a lot of movement taking place. So now in the past month to be exact, Kyle Shanahan has lost his offensive coordinator and Mike McDaniel, who of course took the Miami Dolphins head coaching job and now is quarterbacks coach to a college OC job. A lot of transition on this offense right now, which is of course notable because this could be the first full year that Trey Lance starts as the quarterback for Kyle Shanahan. And there have now been eight changes to Kyle Shanahan's staff throughout this offseason. Mike McDaniel going to the Dolphins as the head coach, as mentioned. Richard Hightower left to become the Bears special teams coach. John Embry was let go. He's now the Dolphins tight ends coach. Wes Welker also followed Mike McDaniel to South Beach to become the wide receivers coach. Butch Berry took the Denver offensive line job. Zach Yenser took the Kentucky offensive line job. James Betcher went to the Cincinnati Bengals to also coach there as an assistant And now Rich Scangarello goes to the college ranks from the NFL to take the Kentucky offensive coordinator gig. This is why the hiring of Anthony Lynn, folks, was really important and is still important. And he talked the other day about Trey Lance, why he's excited to work with him, why in today's NFL, if you're not a pocket passer like a Tom Brady or Aaron Rodgers, it's really important to be uber-athletic and display a nice little blend of skills like Trey Lance does and possesses. But by bringing in Anthony Lynn, you're able to soften the blow of so many changes to this coaching staff, primarily on the offensive side of the football. Anthony Lynn, of course, knows the Shanahan tree and system well. He played under Mike Shanahan and won Super Bowls with him in Denver and then really climbed the ranks after his playing career as a coach and became known as a a run game specialist, a run game guru, which was really the primary duty, or at least one of them, for Mike McDaniel. And when Anthony Lynn was the head coach of the Los Angeles Chargers, they had a couple of really good years. Justin Herbert starred as a rookie, and Anthony Lynn, widely respected across the NFL, in the run game, offensively, And just being a stand-up guy who veterans have really come to like and respect. And he's looked at as a really good football mind. So while you're losing all of these guys, you do bring in Anthony Lynn, who has head coaching experience and a bevy of assistant head coaching experience on the offensive side of the ball, coaching running backs to help soften that blow. With Scangarello gone, 49ers will now have a new quarterbacks coach, We'll see if Kyle Shanahan hires an offensive coordinator. He calls the plays anyway. In years past, hasn't really needed an OC. But this is going to be 
if the 49ers move on from Jimmy Garoppolo and trade him, the first full year for Trey Lance as the starting quarterback, this could mean that Bobby Slowick, offensive assistant, who's really worked a lot with quarterbacks, he's on the staff, he could continue to climb the ranks and be one of Kyle Shanahan's next really notable coaches. We'll see if Kyle Shanahan elects to not go with the inexperienced or somewhat inexperienced Bobby Slowick and instead bring in an experienced quarterback coach. So we'll see what happens on that front. That's the latest with Rich Scangarello going to Kentucky to take their OC job. Isn't a massive loss in my opinion. It's just yet another change to the coaching staff. Let's now get to John Lynch. So we know before he was the 49ers general manager, which at the time was somewhat of a surprise hire. It's worked out well. Two Super Bowl, uh, two NFC Championship games over the last three years and one Super Bowl appearance. And I think his player evaluation has been pretty good. It was looked at as a surprise at the time when he was hired as GM because he didn't have front office experience. He went from the broadcast booth to the Niners front office and has really built a good front office. But a few weeks ago, right after the season, there was a report from Boomer Esiason that stated John Lynch was thinking about leaving his post as Niners general manager to go back into the broadcast booth. And at the time, John Lynch said, look, my commitment right now is to this franchise, it's to this football team, it's to, you know, the Yorks, it's to this current gig. So at that time, John Lynch had turned down all of that broadcasting noise, but it returned this week after Troy Aikman left Fox Sports, according to Andrew Marchand of the New York Post, and went to ESPN to be their color commentator and game analyst on Monday Night Football. So because of that, Fox now has an opening for their number one broadcast team as Joe Buck is in the final year of his deal with Fox Sports. But also, Amazon is going to have rights to Thursday Night Football, and they too are looking for a game analyst. According to Andrew Marchand, they reached out to John Lynch. There was a dinner. Lynch probably could have tripled his salary, according to this report, which is reportedly right now around $5 million as the general manager of the San Francisco 49ers. But Marshawn said Lynch, I'm told, declined, and he wanted to remain in the front office. Tough to turn down the bag for a cushy job that is nowhere near as extensive or rigorous as being a general manager, which which is a 365-day-a-year job, broadcasting, you work from the crib, you do game prep, and then on the weekends you travel to that game while making around $15 million. Not quite Tony Romo money, but really good money nonetheless. So right now, John Lynch has turned down that pretty penny, and he's going to stay in this front office. We'll see if he continues to be the general manager for this football team moving forward over the next few years. I talked about this yesterday. It wouldn't really surprise me all that much if John Lynch does decide to step away at some point And then he hands the reins to Adam Peters, who's kind of waiting in the wings right now, interviewed with the New York Giants for their general managing job before that went to Joe Shane of the Buffalo Bills. The Chicago Bears had shown interest in Adam Peters as well. He's been credited with a lot of the draft evaluation and draft prep for this team over the last few years and is looked at as a star in the making at the general managing spot. So could John Lynch just be buying time? trying to win a Super Bowl, and then hand the reins to Adam Peters at some point. I think that should be on the radar, something that is worth discussing, but we'll continue to monitor that, of course. You have any comments about Rich Gangarello going to Kentucky? John Lynch coming back to the Niners. Chime in in the comment section down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We keep you in the know as good as anybody out there. I'm Chase Senior, host of the 49ers Report. We'll have content coming all throughout this weekend because we push out videos, sometimes multiple videos, every single day. Thanks for watching today's show. Enjoy your weekends.